up guys? Team Hard Life, Captain Albert teach. Yes, I'm gonna take a seat on this video because I'm, I'm tired. I'm actually wet right now as well because we just got back from catching bait so we can go alligator car fishing tonight. And I'm working on the other video that's about to post right before this and does. So um, just to give you a little heads up on some more info that's coming down the pipeline. But uh, for here, what I'm doing is I'm using my 200 pound test piano wire and we're gonna go ahead and get it on there. But my theory behind this, and this is because everything that happened at Illig, at Gar Wars 2019, I was hooking up a ton of Gar, but one, I was missing them. Two, the three-way setup that we had, one hook would get in the Gar, the other hook would catch a tree. So we broke off and broke off and broke off, and I was like, man, there's gotta be another way to hook up these Gar without losing your leader every single time you hooked up or it ran into a tree. All right, so for this leader, and again, this all came down from everything that happened at Gar Wars 2019. As every time the fish would run, I would struggle with keeping it from going in the trees that I was fishing in. And yes, I was in a bad spot, but at the same time, there was a ton of fish there, so I was taking my chances by doing so. But at the same time too, there's gotta be a way to make a leader that can still hook Gar and go through the trees a lot easier than what we were going through. So my theory is to build a kind of a kingfish setup where the trailer hooks are together on one strand instead of two. And that way when the guard does take off, he's gonna pull both hooks together instead of one up here and one way down here because it's dangling or getting thrashed about. So I'm going to test this theory tonight by going out and putting some gar on. But what I'm going to do is, like I said, and I'm just estimating here on the size. I haven't really um, measured it out or anything. I'm just, you know, let's say I'm starting off with a three foot piece. I'm going to put my first hook on. I still don't want it three foot. I want it maybe this far away from where my weight will be. And the reason for it is it'll make it easier to cast. And you know what, too? I'm going to put a swivel on this side. And the reason for that is so that way if he just hooks up on the second hook, he will not have the ability to twist it and break it off. It's going to give me a little bit more cushion for fighting landing the fish. setup that I'm going to be using tonight. So I'm going to build a few more so me and my buddies can cast them out. trying to get bloody on me.
And here I'm also using stainless steel 200 pound swivels. These are stainless, so they're a lot smaller than what they normally would be if they were any other, anything other than stainless. easier to put on the treble hook by itself first and then attach it. I'm noticing right now it's a pain in the butt because I'm not building them the way I normally would do and have the small spool because this line is super heavy. I can't be whipping that spool around like I can the littler spools of the 100 pound test or 98 pound test for kingfish rigs. All right guys, so what I've done is I made nine of them, and there you go, some with swivel, some without swivel, and like I said, they're, they range from 18 to about 30 inches long, so we're going to see which ones work out better, and which ones will hook up, and or which ones will break off or won't break off, but I also got something else in mind, but that'll be on the next video. Stay tuned.